the morning and a whole lot of different things. But I have a question for you all. Us as a people, no disrespect to no one else. You all want to holler for those who's one that this applies to. Want to holler like police brutality, um, racist, or what all that. But let me tell y'all something. For my experience within these 45 years of life, the first thing that we have to correct is within ourselves. Before we target any other different things, we have to challenge what's going on within our, and no disrespect to no other race, it's not no racist thing, but we got to correct with it what's within. I'm black as I don't know what, as you all can see, but guess what, I love everybody. I've never been color scrub, and I'm saying this to say that. We have to correct what's going on within before we point the fingers. And us as the race that we is, we have to correct ourselves because other races see us for who we are. And they see how we treat one another. We got to do better. Because when, when we kicking it within our facilities, our own facilities, ain't nobody there but us. Here go a good hour or so. It's fun. It's peace. It'd be good if we go past four hours, but it don't. It don't. We have to learn. We got to fix within. Before we can fix our outer appearance. I ain't trying to tell nobody what's right or whatever. Hey, babies. I promise you I ain't. But I'm just giving y'all a few full thoughts. How could we expect for anybody to treat us any better? Well, we don't even know how to treat ourselves. We don't even know how to treat ourselves. We need to first correct within the love. Do people really know how to love? Do people really know how to communicate? <laughs> even if we don't. We got the fix within. How could we begin to point, point the fingers? Well, we don't know how to love ourselves. We don't know how to respect ourselves. We can have fun for about two or three hours. And after that, then here it goes. Something else. I'm sorry. If I'm offending anybody, do me one favor. Delete yourself. Because guess what? Before I be sugarcoating or anything to make you feel better. I won't do this. But there's something within my heart. And after the death of my daughter. Before then really. I see. How can we demand anything that's righteousness. When. <clears throat> we don't demand righteousness within our community. We see our own cat. And the first thing we do. We want to judge. The Bible tells us, and I ain't trying to force this belief on nobody. If you don't believe, salute you. If you believe, I salute you even more. But we must correct within before we try to come 
and do anything else. It tells us united we stand and divided we fall. Unity will get us so much more. I'm saying, I, I'm not saying you got to be a certain race or whatever. Guess what? Because I love everybody. Y'all going to say what y'all want to say, but guess what? My destination is heaven. I'm not trying to please you or the next you or whoever. It doesn't matter. But guess what? I know what my heart, my heart desires. And my heart desire is peace. And I'm just saying one thing. How do we expect for anybody <clears throat> to, to love us? Excuse me. If we don't love ourselves. When I'm saying loving yourself, because if you're loving yourself, you're going to love somebody else. And regardless to all this. Stop this hate. Guess what? Parents teach. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Not all, but a whole lot of them. Why not teach peace? Sometimes we're doing a peaceful thing. You don't see justice. But guess what? We all. It's guaranteed the judgment day. And within. We all going to be judged. I don't care what color you is. But before, the people that's of my color, maybe a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit darker or whatever. Before you want to point the fingers and top of all oh, police, police, how can we blame them <clears throat> for being so overprotective? And I'm not trying to justify anything being so overprotective when they're hearing all these things over the media about how we treat each other we need to do better within this lifetime we need to do better I'm sorry I can't sugarcoat it cause guess what when it's our time we all gonna die the same way one, what well, is certain things promised to us? Two things in this world promised to us, and we can't take that no matter what. And that is life, and after life, that is death. That is death. What we need to know is to decide within our calling which way you want to go. Why, well, of course, you went in within this manly world. If you confess it out your mouth and you believe within your heart, you say, He ain't even forcing us to believe. It's our choice to believe. But within that believing, so what? <laughs> I'm all, almost the color. That's why I made this video this color. I'm almost the color of this color. Midnight. And guess what? It don't matter. Because I don't care what color you is. I love you. Through it all, I love you. And I appreciate you. And I thank you all for your love and support. But I'm just saying, we got to learn how to love each other. What's so hard about loving somebody? So what if they don't love you back? Guess what? <laughs> if I tell y'all my life story, y'all be like, oh, how could she still love? But through it all, through everything that Jesus went through, he still loved us. I'm not perfect. I pray to be perfect. I pray to be more like him each and every day. But I'm just saying, don't worry about what nobody say. Oh, why, of course. 
They gonna try to throw that stone. Let them throw that stone. But guess what? I was tried by my faith. I ain't comparing myself with Joe because Joe was a rich man. But I'm saying, through it all, I knew how. Through whatever. No matter what the trials and tribulations I would stand. Stood, sorry. God had me. God got me. God would never leave me, nor would he forsake me. The faith within me. It's not what I'm seeing, it's what I believe. Without a shadow of doubt, God got me. And when I say, my baby gonna get her justice, y'all gonna live to see. I don't know how she gonna get it. But I shall say, justice for a nigga. Human, learn how to truly love. Say you love God, how could you and you not love? Your neighbors. Let's love on one another and truly love. People say it out their mouth all the time. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. But truly love. Truly love. Truly love. True love won't hurt nobody. I don't care what you're thinking or what you expect to think. True love don't hurt nobody. For real, search within. Search within yourself. It ain't nothing that I, I didn't do. Search within yourself to learn how to love. Whatever anger with, that you have within, pray to God to help you to pull that out. Because guess what? I could be on here all day long. Who put that out? Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, this and all that. But if I don't practice what I preach, what is it? preach? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I ain't talk, talk a perfect. Oh, well. But if I don't practice what I preach, what good is my words? Trust me, I pray that God lead me and guide me each and every day. I'm not perfect. I'm not. And guess what? Like I said once and I said again, I'm not even trying to be perfect. Guess what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to be acceptance of my of our God, but God. When it's my judgment time, God tell me, child, well done. And accept me into his kingdom. That's the only thing I'm living for. And besides his will, whatever he shall have me. And I'm telling y'all, I ain't trying to speak no for those who have ears, let them hear. A wise man shall learn, but a fool would never. So, y'all heard me? I said again, a wise man shall learn. But a fool shall never. But God, I love y'all. I truly love y'all. And I thank each and every one of y'all. I promise y'all do. I'm not trying to ignore y'all. I'm not trying to do none of this. I'm not trying to. I, I never knew how to be nobody but me. But I just want to thank y'all. And know that but God got us through it all. Yes. You slow to anger, y'all. When he may try to make us angry. Oh, I'm learning it now. <laughs> Be slow to anger. Silence. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I had to learn the hard way. And for those that want to re uh, interpret it like whatever y'all want to do, no, obedience is better than sacrifice. But because the more you say, the more people are going to take it and put it the way that they would like it or would have it. If that's what y'all feel, I love y'all. And I, 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 okay, I ain't going to lie like that because I'll be saying but I love y'all. Okay, I'm sending out love. For those that have ears, let them hear. I 
love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And if so, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I so love y'all. And I thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. I promise y'all. Because of the love that you all send me. That's what gives me strength. People wonder, when you're going through a heartache or depression or anything, be around love. Be around love. You can't determine whether it's fake or real. But whatever makes you happy, be around it. I promise of the God, it's going to help you. I promise you. People say, oh, she did so, oh, she did. They're going to say whatever. They did it to Jesus Christ. So what makes us, be makes us better? Know who you are. Identify who you are. If you can't identify, pray and ask God to identify yourself. But never give in and never, never question God's unchanging hand. God loves us. Think about it. It's so many of us asking God to do a favor for us. But guess what? He's so powerful. He gets all our prayers with the snap of a finger. Do not give in. Keep your faith and know that God got us. But God got us. Okay. I love y'all. Peace.